It's that time of year when the streets and the pavements are covered with fallen leaves. They look nice and autumnal. Getting rid of them, though, can be quite expensive mm. for councils. Yeah. What's the alternative, then, to sweeping them up and putting them into landfills? Well, Nicola Pearson is at Kew Gardens to find out. Something to do with logs, even. Nicola, morning. Good morning to you. Yes, here at Kew Gardens, they have an abundance of this stuff, and that's probably because they've got so many trees. Now, in a minute, I'm going to tell you exactly what Kew does with all of its leaves, but what about the rest of us? Where do all our leaves go? The falling leaves drift by the window, the autumn leaves of red and gold. Those in the know about leaves estimate that around 5 million tonnes fall in the UK each autumn. Now, without a ridiculously huge set of scales, I'm unable to authenticate that. But what interests me is where do they all go? With so many leaves, gathering them up is a big and costly operation. It's down to local councils to clear nature's litter away, to stop it blocking drains and causing accidents. It's estimated picking the leaves up costs most councils just shy of £100,000 a year. Sending leaves to landfill isn't good at a time when councils are trying to meet targets to reduce the waste they put into the ground. This is one solution. At this industrial unit in Birmingham, they're using leaves collected by councils, universities and parks in the heart of England, and they're turning them into logs. Well, the leaves come in, if there is any moisture in them, they travel up the conveyor belt into the drying system, um, they are dried, any moisture is removed, then they go into the mixer, shredded, and then they turn into logs. People may have thought Peter was mad when he came up with the idea, but he soon convinced them of its green credentials. Throughout the lifetime of the leaves on the tree, they collect the carbon um, from the atmosphere, and it only releases that carbon when it's burnt, so it's a carbon-neutral product. With councils keen to find new and greener ways to dispose of their leaves, it appears there's plenty of room for more bright ideas. Well, here you are. That's what it looks like.